Hello everyone, ATR here, and welcome back to Hearthstone. Now, you might be saying, Hearthstone? What the fuck is this, ATR? You don't do Hearthstone. I do, actually. I do play Hearthstone, and I've made videos of Hearthstone before. I just haven't in a very long while. And while I don't plan to, well, really play right now, I figured, hey, the new expansion's out, and people like seeing cards being opened, so why the fuck not, instead of just opening them myself, I'll just record them while I open them and talk at the same time, and if you're interested, well, that's what we're gonna do. So here we go, the uh, Whispers of the Old Gods have come out, I have 40 packs right here, and we're gonna open them and see what we get. Now, I haven't really seen the cards, um, you know, hold on, don't check at me, I'll open you when I'm ready. Uh, <laughs> I haven't seen the cards, uh previously that much like i've seen some of them um so i'm gonna take a while at the beginning at least to read the cards because i want to see what they do and see what, how cool they are and hopefully we have some legendaries so anyways here we go so whoop, boom ew <laughs> okay so what do we get in the first one well simple one so let's see aberrant berserker and rage plus two attack four me doesn't seem that great. I mean, it's essentially a 5-4 four for 4 that requires an activator. Because you could damage it for 1 at least so that it has 5 attack and then it has 4. So kind of the same stats. Should maybe have one more stat in one of those directions for it to be worth it, but whatever. Anyway, Stormcrack. Deal 4 damage to a minion, overload 1. Okay, so I guess with the removal of... Um, what was the other one? that was previously, that's no longer in standard. Cause yeah, I don't know if you guys follow Hearthstone or not with the standard changes or not, but basically they made a new format now called standard where essentially only the classic cards work and the last year of releases of the cards. So some of the cards like the Goblins vs. Gnome and Nux Ramas have been removed from that. So you have, you know, there's a lot of cards that can't be played in that format anymore. You can still play all of them in wild, but yeah, again, if you're if you're interested and you're here, you probably already know that. So yeah, this one basically just does four damage for one overload and two, but only two minions. So that's kind of cool. On the hunt, deal one damage, summon a one one mastiff. So this is essentially a archer. Yeah, it's a one one that deals one damage, but it's just a spell. So and then we got the Twilight Geomancer taunt, battle cry, give your Katoon taunt wherever it is. So Cthune is a uh, legendary minion uh, that you actually get. I guess I didn't show that, but when you first log in right now with the expansion, you get Cthune, which is a new legendary minion that costs 10 mana, and it deals its attack value worth in damage to random units uh, when it... from random enemies, really, when it comes out. Um, and there's a lot of cards that come out with it that basically buff that minion... Or that unit before it comes out so you can do a lot of damage and pretty much what's running right now in the ladder which is kind of annoying but whatever anyway so yeah it's kind of cool uh, let's see what we get in rare eater of secrets ah finally the fucking killer of secret palette and battle cry destroy all enemy secrets gain plus one plus one for each yeah that basically nukes secret paladin so that's nice because they, they were fucking annoying anyways let's keep going let's see what Not sure what. Ooh, ooh, that's a nice pack. Uh, possessed villager, one one for one. Death rattle, summon a one one shadow beast. Meh, it's just kind of like a a different version of a argent squire. No, what was it called? Is it called an argent squire? No. Whatever, you know the the one one with um with divine shield. So it's kind of the same thing because you kill this one and another one one comes out. So it's basically the same thing. Dusk boar, four one. That's kind of funny. Not sure if that's going to get played. Then we got Spawn of Nsoth. Death Rattle, give your minions plus one plus one. That's not bad, actually. Pretty good for aggro, I, I guess. Because it gives all your minions, not just one. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and let's see what we get. Epic. Wisps of the Old Gods. Choose one. Summon seven, one, one wisps, or give your minions plus two plus two. That's kind of cool. Not sure if it's going to get used, but... Well, with... Uh, Force of Nature, Savage Roar getting killed. Uh, and maybe. I mean, okay. And what's this other one? Crazed Worshipper, Tond. Whenever this minion takes damage, give your Cthulhu plus one plus one wherever it is. So see, that's what I meant. There's a lot of minions 
that have specifically that ability that they're going to be giving plus one, plus one, or plus two, or whatever, to Cthulhu. So you buff it before it comes out into play, and then you pop it out and does a massive amount of damage, which is kind of annoying, because there's no way to prevent that or remove that buff, so... I don't like it. I'll see. We'll see how the game actually evolves after with that. But uh, so far, from what I've been seeing, it's kind of annoying fighting against the Cthulhu decks because it's like, okay, so I kill all your stuff, and then you're gonna bring out a big ass minion and probably kill me in one turn. So, so this one doesn't have anything. Let's see what we get. Light in the darkness. Discover a minion. Give it plus one plus one. Oh, that's kind of cool. So, you draw a minion. You get to choose which minion, and it gives it plus one plus one. So. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty interesting. I think we'll probably see that. Hooded Acolyte, because whatever a character is healed, give your Cthulhu plus one plus one. Again, like I said, a lot of cards have this, so this is kind of like the Acolyte it draws, but instead it gives plus one plus one on every heal. So Dusk, where we've seen Bladed Cultist, combo, game plus one plus one. Eh, not bad. So not a good turn one minion, but it's essentially a two, three, any other turn after that. Rare. Rare. Journey Below, discover a Death Rattle card. Ooh, interesting. It's a Death Rattle card, not just a minion. So can you actually maybe get weapons? Like the, what's it called? The, the icy one for the warrior? Fuck, I forgot his name. But yeah, like the one that does the whirlwind. Can you actually get that with it? Because it says Death Rattle card. Interesting. Uh, okay. We'll see what that is. There's only one mana, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> you can tell it's going to take a while for 2 40, but hopefully we can get start getting through it faster once we see all these cards. Psychotron, Taunt, Divine Shield, 3-4. So it's basically an upgraded Anoyotron, which the Anoyotron is out of um, the ladder, I guess. It's not in standard anymore, so I guess if you want this, not bad for the stats. But Cult, as we've seen it, Shadow Strike, deal 5 damage to an undamaged character. So, an upgraded version of the backstab. And then we have Stormcrack. Oh, well, we saw that one. So, let's see. Doomcaller, Battlecry. Give your Cthulhu plus two plus two wherever it is. If it's dead, shuffle it into your deck. Now, this one's very interesting because this one is both a buff to the Cthulhu, but it also says if it's dead, shuffle it into your deck. So, it brings it back. And on top of that, it's a 7-9 for 8, so it's pretty big-ass, beefy units. So, that's the problem that I've been finding against all these Cthulhu things because... Not only does Cthulhu get fucking big and it's like a ridiculous thing that you can't stop or like downgrade. Uh, a lot of the stuff that comes out that buffs Cthulhu is actually pretty hard to take down. So you're spending a lot of your removal and units and such and spells to take out those units that are buffing the other one. And then he comes out. So we'll see later on how that changes. But so far, I'm not a big fan, but whatever. So two rares. Oh, never mind. It's an epic. Call of the Wild, summon all three animal companions. I've seen this one used against me. Meh. I don't, see, I don't think that's great. I mean, I guess technically it's cheaper than summoning all three, even though you can't summon all three because you only have two cards. But, you know, it's three for one, so it's eight. But, I mean, this does essentially what? It gives you a two, four, a five, two, and a five, four with taunt. The five, two with charge, so. Five damage for eight mana. Meh. Anyways, Nerubian Prophet, at the start of your turn, reduce this card's cost by one. That's interesting. I'm not sure if we'll see it, but it's interesting. And stand against darkness. Summon five one one silver hand recruits. So the uh, mustard for battle got removed from uh from standard essentially. Uh so I guess this is the new one. <laughs> then we got the rares. Disciple of Cthulhu, Battle Cry, deal 2 damage, give Cthulhu plus 2 plus 2, wherever it is. It's a 2 1 for 3, so pretty weak, but it does have that 2 damage Battle Cry, which actually makes it pretty good. Then we got Thistle T, draw a card, add 2 extra copies of it to your hand. Pretty interesting. So it's basically giving you 2 extra cards and the draw. You just have to hope that you're drawing something you want. Neat. Come on, let's get some legendaries going. Rare. Okay. Faceless Summoner, Battle Cry. Summon a random three cost minion. Yeah, I've seen this one. This one seems pretty okay. I mean, it's random, so it's not that reliable, but you can get some pretty cool stuff. And a 5 5 for 6, not that bad, especially with that three cost, so I like it. Uh, Cult Apothecary, Battle Cry. For each enemy minion, restore two health to your hero. Now, this one's interesting 
kind of seems like, I mean, obviously it only works against aggro kind of things, but basically it's the uh, heal bot kind of replacement because the heal bot is also out of the meta, uh, out of standard. So Cult Apothecary, if there's seven minions, I guess that's 14 health. That's pretty beefy, but you know, you also have to deal with the seven minions. Aberrant Berserker, we already saw that one. Hooded Acolyte, we saw that one. Let's see what we get here. Skeram Cultist, Battlecry, give your Cthulhu plus two plus two, whatever it is. And again, it's a seven, six for seven, you know, so again, another beefy static unit that you have to remove, and it already did the plus two plus two, which you can't do anything against. So again, that's kind of why I don't like it right now, but maybe once I actually start playing it, I'll just be all about it, right? Kind of like people that played Secret Paladin. What did I get? Just a rare? Okay. South Sea Squid Phase, Death Rattle, give your weapon plus two attack. Okay. So it's basically the same as the Dark Iron Dwarf, but it gives your weapon, and it's permanent, so it's a little bit better. It's just you have to have the weapon. Twilight Geomancer, uh, we already saw that. Shadow Strikers, eh. Twisted Worgen, 3 1 stealth for 2. That's actually pretty cool. Let's see what this guy is. Forbidden Ritual, spend all your mana, summon that many 1 1 tentacles. Okay, so a flood the board card, essentially. You don't really want to spend it on 10, right? Because. You can't have 10, you only can have 7, so you kind of want to do other stuff. And interesting. There's a lot of cards like this that have an effect that depends on how much mana you uh, you have left and it burns it all. So there's some, some there's some in interesting cards that have been added into the uh, into the mix. So that's just the rare. Ooh, a golden common. Dark Ar Araqua. Ar 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 Taunt. Battle cry. Give your Cthulhu plus 3 plus 3 wherever it is. Jesus. Again. So 5-7 taunt, big beefy unit for 6, and it still gives a plus 3, plus 3. That's ridiculous. Uh, we saw that one. Ravaging Ghoul, battle cry, deal 1 damage to all other minions. Ah, oh, cool. So, included whirlwind in this guy. Not bad. Mark of Yisharga. Uh, give the minion plus 2, plus 2. If it's a beast, draw a card. Okay. Let's see this guy. Forlorn Starker. Battle cry, give all death rattle minions in your hand. Oh, in your hand. Okay, plus 1, plus 1. Mm, cool. It relies on having a big hand, I suppose. Or a decent hand, but... I like that those are some effects that have happened. I kind of don't like it a lot because you can't prevent those or uh, get rid of those until the unit is out, I guess. But Bladed Cultists, we saw that. Uh, Bilefin Tidehunter. Battle Cry. Summon a 1-1 Ooze with Taunt. Interesting. So a 2-1... With a 1-1 one, one taunt. Kind of separated. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, Nerubian Prophet at the start. Okay, we saw that one. Yeah. And Klaxi Amber Weaver. Battle Cry. If your Cthulhu has at least 10 attack, gain plus 5 health. So again, I've seen a lot of these. So yeah, once you do all those buffs that we've been seeing from Cthulhu, then you drop this. And for 4, uh, it's essentially a 4-10 for 4. That's, like, Jesus, ridiculously difficult to, you know, remove. At least back in the day, the, um, what the hell am I scratching here? It's just making noise. Um, at least, uh, you know, the Twilight Drake, which was the other unit that at 4-4 can have a lot of mana. One required that the opponent, like a handlock, had a lot of cards in hand. And then you could silence it and it only had one health. This you silence, it still has five health. Like, we're really strong. Oh, sorry. There you go. Pop. Blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I think it's about time we get some legendaries going, right? Evolved Kobold. Spell damage plus two plus two. Nice. Spell damage plus two, I mean. Nice. Uh, stand against darkness. Fire, fiery Bad. Death Rattle. Deal one damage to a random enemy. Eh, two one for one with deal one damage. Different version, I guess, of the thing. Hey, and we have the two we need. <laughs> Let's see that. Evolve. Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. Transform your minions into random minions that cost one more. This is actually pretty annoying and uh, to play against. Uh, but I mean, I guess that's kind of thing. The, like this thing has kind of replaced the the burst shamans. So now they instead do this. They're still very aggro, but they just beat you in the face and then get better units. <sighs> Nothing. Okay. Set against. Okay, Primal Fusion. We got both of them. Give a minion plus one plus one for each of your totems. Okay. So adding more into the totem shaman kind of style. 
This one has plus one plus one depending on the totems. Angma Amgam Rager one five, which is basically a magma rager, just flipped around. <laughs> so one five. Uh interesting. Not sure if we'll see it, but there you go. And then we have the Blackwater Pirate. Your weapons cost two less. Okay. It's a pirate, so I suppose it adds them to pirate decks, but up to this point, I still haven't seen pirates deck, pirate decks being uh, very viable. Not a lot of people do them. They just maybe add some pirates here or there, but not a pirate-centric kind of deck. Ooh, Golden Cyclotron. Nice. Uh, we saw that one. We saw that one. Let's see the rares. Blackwater Pirate and Shifting Shade. Death Rattle. Copy a card from your opponent's deck and add it to your hand. So... Basically like a Thought Steal with a unit attached, although it's just one card, but, you know, that's fine. It's a weird kind of stat line, but it's powerful enough to take down a lot of things. Ooh, epic. Infested Tauren, Taunt, Death Rattle, Summon a 2-2 Slime. And now, if this was a 2-2 Slime with Taunt, it would be the new um, Sludge Belcher, because that one is, again, out of the ladder in Standard. But... It's just a 2-2 slime, so it's not that great. Still, though, I mean, it's a taunt, so I guess it might work, but stat lines are pretty low for what it is. Celis uh, Initiate. Death Rattle. Give a random friendly minion plus one plus one. Eh, I don't know. Darkshire Councilman. After you summon a minion, gain plus one attack. So this is basically an aggro thing. A lot of health. And gonna get a lot of attack, too. Uh, the rare one, Twilight Darkmender, Battle Cry. If your Cthune has at least 10 attack, restore 10 health to your hero. So that's pretty strong, but again, Cthune based. Now let's see the epic. Blade of Cthune, Battle Cry. Destroy a minion, add its attack and health to Cthune, wherever it is. Jeez. Wow. Well, okay, well, it's a 9 cost. Okay, so it's a 4 4 for 9, which is. But it destroys a minion, just flat out. And whatever the stats were, it just adds it to Cthune. That's pretty fucking strong. Wow. They're all about Cthune in this, uh, in this expansion. Okay, we saw that. Twilight Flame Collar. Battle Cry. Deal one damage to all enemy minions. Oh, interesting. It's a little, uh, combination there of... What was the... Arcane Blast, I think is what it's called. Which is deal one damage to all enemy minions. But this now is attached to a Battle Cry, which is kind of cool. Because at least you drop a body on the, on the, on the field. Cthune's Chosen, Divine Shield, Battle Cry, give Cthune plus 2 plus 2, and it's a 4 2 with Divine Shield. This, with this one's pretty strong too. And then we've got the Darkshire Alchemist, Battle Cry, Restore 5 Health. A 4 5 for 5. For, uh, I mean, this for a priest could be a viable replacement for the uh, the Alarmal. Not Alarmal, but the, uh, the Heal Bot. You know, it's only 5 health, so it's not as strong, but it has stronger stats. So, yeah, I can see that. Let's see the rare. Eater of Secrets. Yeah, we saw that one. So. Now we got those. We're about to get to the halfway point and still no legendaries. Come on, game. Got more uh, things. Fiery bad. Power word tentacles. Give a minion plus two plus six. So this, I guess, would be the replacement for... Uh... Oh, shit. I forgot. What was the name of that spell? Uh... Fuck, I can't remember. Well, there was like a spell that was plus two attack, plus four health, and one spell power. So I guess this one would be the replacement, even though it's more expensive. And then we got Shatter, which is pretty cool. Destroy a frozen minion. So excellent for freeze mages. Uh, Rallying Blade. Battle Cry. Give plus one, plus one to your minions with Divine Shield. Ooh, that's interesting. So if you finally go for the Divined kind of thing, you can use that and give them plus one, plus one. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. And then we got the epic. Let's see. Crazed Worshipper. Taunt. Whenever this minion takes damage. I think we already saw that one, right? Yeah. I think I have both of those. Ooh. Finally. Let's see here. So Fiery Bat. Carry and Grub. 2, 5 for 3. So pretty good stat lines to knocking down small units for control, kind of. Because we've seen 3, 4. So this is the same thing. Just 2, 3. Balfin thing, summon a 1-1 one, who's one, with taunt, and then shatter. Okay, so let's see. What is this going to be? This is going to be Deathwing. Ah, okay, well, who is this? Sogoth the Slitherer. Taunt. Can't be targeted by spells or... Ooh. Ooh. 
Five nine with taunt that can't be targeted by spells or hero power. That's that's very interesting. That essentially kind of guarantees nine extra life, right? And killing some of his infantry. I mean, you can still silence it with a uh, actual silence minion, so you know it's not completely amazing, but you know can't be targeted by spells or hero powers makes it a lot more difficult to remove. You know, you basically need battle cries. Uh, cool. Well, we got that. Let's see what else we got. I'm guessing we at least get another legendary before we finish the unpacking, right? Stormcrack. We've seen that. Usher of Souls. Whenever a friendly minion dies, give your Cthulhu plus one plus one. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the rare is. Addled Grizzlies. After you summon a minion, give it plus one plus one. Oh, cool. So keep adding minions to that and gifts getting plus one plus one. Nice. Getting bigger. Nothing on this one. The Mark of Yashan on the Han Biffin. Everything we've seen. Let's see the rare. Eater of Secrets. Pretty much a garbage pack there. So, yeah, again, we're going to start burning through these quicker now since I doubt we're going to be seeing much we haven't seen. Not sure cells. Yeah. Oh, Grotesque Dragon Hog. A 5 5 with Wind Fury for 7. Yeah, pretty solid. <laughs> and then Corrupted Seer. Battle Cry. Deal 2 damage to all non Murloc minions. This one I really like because it's essentially. Uh, I mean, it's expensive. It's six, but I mean, it's board clear uh, for all classes, essentially. It's kind of weird. I mean, it is against non-Murlocs, but I mean, you can just simply throw this onto your deck and, you know, you have a two damage AoE for six mana that you can cast whenever you want, and it drops a minion. Seems pretty legit. Polluted Hoarder, draw a card. So this is basically an upgraded uh, Loot Hoarder, which is a 2-1 for 2. So this is a 4-2 four, for 4, so pretty much straight upgrade. Squirming Tentacle, a 2-4 with Taunt for 3. Okay. On the Haunt, we've seen that one. And Twilight Dark Mender, we've seen that one. So. Halfway point. We're doing it. Ooh, that's an epic. Nice. Bog Creeper, 6-8 with Taunt for seven, not bad. Tentacle of Ensoth, Death Rattle, deal one damage to all minions. So basically another version of the, well, different version of the explosive cheap. Uh, and we've seen this guy before. Let's see the epic. Bilefin Inquisitor, battle cry, your hero power becomes summon a 1-1 one -one Murloc. Oh yeah, so this is if you want to turn your paladin directly into a Murloc. Murlocadin, which it already kind of is. Uh, we've seen all these. Ensoth's first mate, Battle Cry, equip a 1 3 Rusty Hook. Now, this one I really like. This one actually seems pretty strong. I mean, it does seem to be kind of intended more for a aggro type of uh, warrior, but I mean, a 1 1 on turn 1 on the field and having a 1 3 weapon, you know, it's not bad. That's pretty good. Oh, I thought this one was something else. Psychotron, we've already seen it. Let's see the rare. Blood to Icar. Deal one damage to a minion. If it survives, summon a 2 2 slime. Not bad. Uh, we've seen this. Ravaging Ghoul. Aha. Uh -huh. Everything there. So let's see the rare. Steward of Darkshire. Whenever you summon a one health minion, give it a give it divine shield. Hmm, interesting. So you can give Divine Shield to your 1-1s one and maybe even play other ones. Cool. And Selfless Hero. Death Rattle. Give a random friendly minion Divine Shield. Oh, that's interesting. 2-1 so one for 1, which is already kind of good for trading. And it gives Divine Shield when it dies. Not bad. Pretty cool for aggro, I guess. Primal Fusion, we've seen that one. Feral Rage, choose one. Give your hero plus four attack this turn or gain eight armor. It's actually pretty cool. And eight armor for three? That's actually not bad. Not bad as for healing, yeah. And Faithless Summoner, we already saw that one. So we got a rare and an epic. Infested Wolf, three three for four. Death Rattle, summon two 1-1 one, one spiders. 
<laughs> okay. That's kind of like the other spider kind of thing. And we got the epic. Hammer of Twilight. Death Rattle. Summon a 4-2 Elemental. So 4-2 for 5. And summons a 4-2 when it dies. Interesting. Seems cool. Keep going. Taking quite a while here. Mm, ooh, another epic. Ooh, not a bad pack. Cthune's Chosen. We saw that one. But Creeper, yeah. Let's see. Ooh, a golden rare. Master of Evolution. Battle Cry. Transform a friendly minion into a random one that costs one more. This one is really strong. I mean, already it's a 4 5 for 4, which is stat line is just, you know, solid. It's the best stat line at that point. On top of that, you buff one of your already existing units, which you can basically do on a totem if you wanted to, or better if you have something else. And then we got this Disciple of Katoon, which. Oh, there you go. And we got the epic. Tentacles for arms for the warrior death rattle. Return this to your hand. So basically with this one, you can perpetually attack. It does cost five mana, but you can basically always be able to swing. It goes back and you can just resummon the weapon. So that's kind of cool. Seems no point to actually have uh, more than one of these. So we got our one. <laughs> ah, okay, 15. Let's see. Ooh, Mark of Yashar Golden. Uh, we've already seen everything here. Infested Wolf, yeah. Pretty standard. I guess we've pretty much seen all the basics at this point. Uh, Blood Hoof Brave. 2 6 with Taunt and Rage plus 3. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, because that would make it a 5 5 for 4 with Taunt. That's actually pretty fucking strong. Uh,. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I like that one. And we've seen the other ones. Let's see the rare. It's going to be a black water pirate. Yeah, we already figured that one out. Keep going. Yep, keep going. Ooh, there we go. Divine strength, give a minion plus one plus two. That's kind of weird. Especially for the paladin. Oh, well. Uh, we saw that one. We saw that one. Let's see our rare. And that is a servant of Yog saron Oh, yeah, I've seen this one. This one's kind of cool, but really weird. Battlecry. Cast a random spell that costs five or less. Targets chosen randomly. It's just so very, so much variance on it. Uh, so let's see. This guy, who's it going to be? I still think it's going to be Deathwing. The new Deathwing. Well, it's a golden legendary. And it's the boogie monster. Whenever this minion attacks and kills a minion, gain plus two, plus two. Ah, interesting. So knock shit around and keeps getting buffed. It's an interesting one. I would maybe disenchant it, but nah. At this point, I just want to keep my golden cards. Twilight Elder? Uh, yeah, this one we were missing, but yeah, at the end of your turn, give your Cthulhu plus one plus one, so basically guaranteed once, and then if it doesn't get knocked down, it just keeps buffing. Twilight Flame Collar, we've seen this. Feral Rage, yeah, so let's see what the epic is. And that is a Faceless Chambler Taunt Battle Cry. Copy of Friendly Minions Attack and Health. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it's Taunt, and, you know, it relies on minions being on the field, but it just copies its stats. Cool. It's current stats, I would assume, not, you know, its maximums. Another epic, nice. And a rare. Oh, uh, yeah, we've seen all these. Let's see the rare. It's going to be a Doom Caller battle cry. If it's dead, shuffle it. Yeah, we've seen that one, so we add a second. Let's see that epic. Renounce Darkness. Replace your hero power and warlock cards with another classes. The cards cost one less. This is really interesting, but really weird. Because obviously I'm assuming that the cards are random. But, I mean, it's one cost one less. I'm assuming, though, that they're... I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know, but yeah, you can basically stop being a warlock and become a different hero, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but I may have to try it one day. All right, we're down to our last 10 packs. I'm not going to be opening more. It's already taking as long as it did. Let's take a look at this. Twilight Flame Color. Yeah, we've already seen all these. we got another epic. Pretty cool. Shadow Word Horror. Destroy all minions with two or less attack. That one's pretty cool. Awesome for, uh, <laughs> yep, specifically like it says there, Murloc's kill all minions that have two or less attack. It's a pretty cool sweeper. And we got the epic, Renounce Darkness again, so we got both of them. The cool thing is you could actually, oh, actually, I don't, well, I didn't get to see it, but. 
I'm not sure if you can use it twice. I guess you can't use it twice because it replaces it. So just having it twice, I guess, means more chances of drawing it. So you probably would anyways. Possessed villager, triumph of the Jews, uh, all, everything we've already seen. Another epic. Blade of Cthulhu, destroy minions. And uh, uh -huh, we've already sent that one. Pretty cool. It's cool that we're getting all these uh, epics. It's actually pretty nice. A shitty pack. Uh, nothing we haven't seen. Yeah. Meyer Keeper, choose one, summon a 2 2 slime or gain an empty mana crystal. Now, this one's really cool. I mean, it is a 3 3 for 4 only, which isn't amazing, but it's pretty cool for ramp. And if you don't need it anymore for ramp, like if you've already gotten to 10 or whatever, uh, it still gives you a 3 3 and a 2 2, which is cool because, for example, the other one, the Keeper of the Grove or whatever the other one was that came out, it was either both players draw a card or both players game mana crystal so you know there wasn't a direct uh benefit in a lot of cases you know because maybe at that point you don't actually want your opponent to draw a card so yeah this one at least gives just you the uh the benefit so this nishia thumb crack everything we've already seen the twilight dark mender which we already have more than two so that one's going away what do you say? We can probably do another legendary before the packs end, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna get one more before we go through. Uh, yeah, we've seen everything here. And Journey Below, and there's the, the Death Rattle card. So what do you guys think? It's gonna be on this one, or it's gonna be on the last one? This one. Yeah, told you guys, this one. Uh, bad thing is we're not gonna get another one after that, but oh well. Uh, we already seen all these. Let's see the rare. Uh, Blackwater Pirate. We already have too many of those. And this is Deathwing. This is the one that I was talking about. Yep, there you go. Deathwing Dragon Lord. So this one's interesting. It's put all dragons from your hand into the battlefield. 12, 12 for 10. It's just amazing. I don't think I actually have the original Deathwing yet. I should probably get it. But yeah, there you go. Maybe I did. I think I did. Uh, anyways, let's finish these offs because we're not going to get any more legendaries. So, uh, yeah, let's just see what we get. Ooh, another golden mark of George. Uh, everything we've seen. Rares, Blood to Icker, Undercity Huckster, Death Rattle, Ladder, Random Class card to your hand from your opponent's class. This one's pretty cool. It's essentially draw and a 2 2, so solid body. And it's from your opponent's class, so you're able to do some weird stuff. Uh huh. Everything we've seen. And let's see what we get here. Blood Sail Cultist, Battle Cry. If you control a pirate, give your weapon plus one plus one. Ah, okay, so giving even more things to go for pirates. That's pretty cool. Giving an upgrade there. Second to last. Nothing special. Nothing that we haven't seen. And the rare, which is Blackwater Pirate, which again we don't need. And the last one, which like I said, is not going to have a legendary. It is going to have an epic, though, and a rare, so that's a pretty decent pack. Uh, and we've seen all these. Let's see the rare, and that is a Shifting Shade. Pretty cool. We got the second one, and our epic is going to be Renounced Darkness, which we already have. Power and replace your hero power and warlock has with another classes. So I'm assuming if you use it once, I mean, it replaces it, so I guess you can't really have it. But if you were to draw it again, you would replace your hero power but not replace the cards because it says warlock cards. So, anyways, so yeah, there we go. That's the uh, the pack opening. Let's go ahead and uh, clear out all the uh, fluff. Eh, it's only four hundred and eighty, so not not too bad as far as uh, repetitions go. It's uh, pretty close to being able to craft another one, and we got a lot of stuff here. Let's take a look just to see how far I am from getting all the stuff, which I'm assuming I'm pretty far. Uh, crafting. Uh, so yeah, we got some there. We didn't get any dark cover. <laughs> That's a standard one. I didn't get any. Oh well. Uh, so yeah, let's just keep looking, just to see what we're missing. So we're missing legendaries. We're missing infest. We're missing a giant sandworm. We're actually missing quite a bit here. <laughs> uh, forbidden healing. 
Ragnaros Lightlord. <laughs> a lot of stuff here for the uh, mage. So yeah, I mean, obviously we're still far from done on that one. It was only 40 packs to start with, so, you know, can't expect to really have everything. But we actually got quite a bit. We, uh, we went through quite a lot of it, and uh, I feel pretty good about that one. And we also got uh, Deathwing, which is amazing. So there you go. Anyways, guys, uh, yeah, thanks for watching if you stuck around. I know this is boring content, but I figured why not record it if I'm going to do it anyways. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.